Welcome back to my channel. We are getting some things done today, so I hope you're excited and ready to clean along with me. Today's video is super motivational and it's also made possible by today's sponsor, BetterHelp. So thank you so much to BetterHelp and let's just get started. It is 10.40 and I've barely gotten started on our day so far. We've had kind of a rough day. You can probably hear Sutton is coughing in the background. He has croup this week, so he's been like a little bit off, a little bit cranky. Yesterday, what honey? Get what? All right, I'll get it in a minute, okay? Um, he's been a little bit off this week because he's had croup. He's had like a cough, a runny nose. Yesterday, our phones broke, so we had to go switch carriers, actually. New phones, which like, I mean, I guess it's fun, but it's also really expensive to upgrade phones. So yeah, my week has been just completely thrown off. I have a whole list of things I would like to get done today, but I'm already kind of thrown off because the first thing on the list was to make my bed, but I couldn't do that because one of my cats actually, he actually cut his face yesterday. He gets like chin acne and he scratched at it for some reason and he cut himself um, and he was bleeding pretty badly. He's okay, I'll like insert a clip. You can see that he's fine, but he got blood all over our white duvet cover. So I had to take that off this morning. Um, I tried to treat the stain, so I used like, I was just using a spray bottle full of water because um, I didn't want to put it in the sink. And I was trying to spray the stains and then I used a little bit of Dawn Power Wash, sprayed that all over the place, like kind of rubbed that in. And then I went in with, I think it's an OxyClean stain remover. So I'm hoping that that will get the stains out, but I'm letting it sit right now. Um, with the stain remover on for a little before I try to throw it in the wash. Also had to collect all my husband's laundry and throw that in the wash. So that's actually going right now. And then when that's done, I'll throw in the duvet cover and hopefully I can get the stains out. But anyway, we are going to try to keep going, see how much I can get done. Again, Sutton's been a little bit sick. So if I have to stop to take care of him, then it is what it is but I'll do my best to get some things done and take you guys along with me. So hopefully you find this video motivational. <laughs> I actually placed a Grove order and it arrived when I was getting ready to film. So we're going to unbox that now and I'll just share the things that I got. So I got some lemon essential oil. I also got an EnviroScent warmer kit to try, some Method Squirt and Mop. I haven't had this in a while, but it's one of my favorite things to clean with. I also got my favorite Caldrea linen spray that I've repurchased over and over again. I got some of my sink cleaner and a new scent to try. We'll try that in a couple minutes. I got some dishwasher pods and a cleaning brush that was actually a free gift with my order. It's been kind of heavy on my mind lately to start using more non-toxic or safer alternatives to a lot of the cleaning products that we currently use. For a long time, I was really good about that, but I feel like I kind of fell off the bandwagon, so to speak, but I want to be better about it going forward. So anyway, I placed this Grove order. I actually also ordered a new brand of laundry detergent to try, and that has not arrived yet, but I'm really excited to try it and use cleaner ingredients in our home. just atrocious today everything is so orange so I'm really sorry um, it's pouring rain outside and I have to have all the lights on in my house because it's so dark in here which does not really make filming very easy but anyway if you guys have watched my channel for a long time then you know that I use the Mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleaner all the time I use it to clean my sink in pretty much every single one of my videos but they were sold out of the one that I normally get I've never seen this apple blossom scent before I've only ever seen the lemon one so this is my first time trying it and I'm really hoping that it smells as good because I was very partial to the lemon scent it really made your kitchen smell like fresh and clean it like filled the whole room with scent I hope it comes back but anyway okay this does smell really good it smells clean it's not like I was worried it was gonna be a very fall scent and we're heading into spring, so like I'm all set with fall. But no, it's not. It's definitely more of like a florally, like clean scent. So I'm really excited to use this. And again, hopefully it works as well as the other one does. I have a stain on my quartz counters from spilling super glue on them and I've tried to get it off and I just can't. So the reason that I ordered the lemon essential oil was to try to remove the leftover residue from the super glue. 
but unfortunately it did not work. You'll see I also tried rubbing alcohol, I tried acetone, I tried vinegar, and I forgot to film it, but I also tried a magic eraser and hairspray. Sometimes hairspray for some reason takes stains off, but nothing would take it off. So if you guys have any ideas for what to do, please let me know in the comments. Moving on to tidying up the kitchen, it was very rainy and gloomy when I was filming, so I just want to apologize for the lighting in this video, but we are finally starting to approach the spring, which I'm so excited for. I've been having a really hard time with the cold weather this year, especially, and I've just been so tired and unmotivated. My anxiety has been at probably an all-time high. My family's had a couple different bugs go through the house. We're just kind of going through it right now, so I'm ready for spring weather so badly, and I know that's not going to, like, fix all my problems, but hopefully it helps me to feel a little bit better both physically and mentally. But before we get any further into today's video, I'm excited to introduce you to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. You guys know I am not shy when it comes to sharing my personal struggles with mental health. I've always been very open about it and that's not really because I enjoy airing out my personal struggles on the internet. It's more so because I want to reach those of you who maybe are feeling the same way and you need someone to relate to, you need to know that you're not alone or maybe it will just give you the courage to speak up about how you're feeling and seek help if that's something that you're needing. I think that it's a very important conversation conversation to have and I think that as someone who shares my life on the internet it is important for me to share the good and the bad and the ugly so if you guys are newer to my channel you may not know this you may know this I don't know but back in 2020 my husband and I actually split up we filed for a divorce we moved into separate homes and that was by far the hardest time of my entire life and I have a lot of it documented here on my channel. Thankfully, we were able to reunite our family, have another baby, move into this house together, but it did not come without a lot of work and we went to both individual and marriage therapy. We are firm believers in therapy over here, so I'm so excited that BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video. I've actually wanted to work with BetterHelp for years because I truly believe in them and their company and I can speak firsthand for how much therapy has helped both me and my family. BetterHelp will connect you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful and unbiased advice. You'll be matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours so you can get started quick and you can also do your therapy via your phone or your computer, video chat, messaging, whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. I know that it can be so intimidating when you're first starting therapy so having those different options can definitely help if you're feeling nervous. You can also change your therapist at any time so if you don't feel like you found the right fit you can try as many as you'd like before you find a therapist that you feel like you connect with so to sign up you will just head over to their website you can go to betterhelp.com slash katherine elaine there you will answer a few questions and better help will match you with a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours you will also receive 10 percent off your first month with better help so if you would like to take advantage of that offer i will have all of the information in my description box down below and I just want to say a huge thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I have been doing so well at keeping up with the dishes lately. I'm actually proud of myself. For a long time, I was really on top of it. I could not go to bed without a clean sink, but honestly, after we had our second baby, most of my cleaning had to take a back seat. I just can't do it all, all the time, and he was not an easy baby by any means and totally rocked our world, honestly, but we have really turned a corner with him. Our lives are easing up a little, and I feel like I have some time back to stay more on top of the everyday tasks, plus we have done so much decluttering lately and as a result we just have less mess around the house and you know when there's just so much to do that you don't even know where to start that's how I felt for a long time it was overwhelming and it was daunting and it made me not want to do anything at all I no longer feel like that because I've really taken control of our stuff this year and it's just been such a breath of fresh air I 
I still think that I favor the lemon scent of this sink cleaner over this one, but this one works just as well. It also smells really good. It's just like a preference thing and hopefully they bring the lemon one back in stock. I'll definitely order that if they do, but this is going to work perfectly fine. If they don't bring it back, I just really hope that they do. We are headed to Disney in September of this year and I'm so excited. That is our first Disney trip as a family, but I'm also understandably, I think, very overwhelmed. So I wanted to ask you guys in this video if you have any advice for Disney with little kids and traveling with kids, like please leave it in the comments below because we, like I said, this is our first time going and it's just a lot. There's so much that goes into planning a Disney trip. So anything from advice to traveling with kids to advice for the parks to which food places you recommend, just leave it all in the comments below. Anything you think would be helpful. Will not be keeping these iPhone boxes. I feel like everybody just holds on to these after they get a new phone for no reason. I will be recycling them. I have been seeing a lot of people using the brand, I think it's like Branch Basics or something like that, and I'm thinking about ordering them to try them. Like I said, I'm kind of on this like more natural non-toxic product kick right now so if you guys have used that brand before i would love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments and whether or not i should place an order let's carry this all the way up here from the basement so that i can inspect it and see if all the stains came out before i put it in the dryer which Good thing I did that because they did not. <laughs> I think actually all the blood stains came out. This is chocolate ice cream that I cannot get out. So I've actually never used bleach before when I'm doing laundry, but I'm curious for any of you who have, would that fix this problem here? Because this is, this is white, so I'm not worried about using bleach, but Somebody please let me know. This is like a set in chocolate ice cream stain that happened a while ago that I tried to get out and couldn't get out. So anyway, at least all the blood is off the mattress or off the duvet cover, but yeah, really unfortunate that I cannot get this chocolate ice cream stain out. I was just kind of going through my list to see what I've accomplished so far and I've literally done nothing on my list. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is clean the hair out of the cordless vacuum because that's not really super fun and I'm already checking it off because it makes me feel better. So at first to clean this, I was using a retractable blade and this just was not working and I knew I had a tool somewhere that was meant to do this. I just couldn't find it, but luckily I did remember where it was. So I grabbed that tool and this was so much easier. I forget if this came with my vacuum or it came with like a different vacuum, but either way, I'm sure they sell something like this on Amazon. So if you have a vacuum that has a bunch of hair wrapped around it, this tool, I really don't even know what it would be called. I'm sure it's like a hair remover tool for vacuums or something. I'm sure they sell them and this worked really really well at getting all of it out it's crazy how much hair was in this vacuum between what i lose in the shower and how much hair i vacuum up i literally don't understand how i'm not bald we have had these balloons in our house for well over a month honestly like approaching two months so it was time for me to pop them and get them out. I really don't think the kids are even gonna realize that I threw it away. It's definitely um, concealed pretty well in the trash here. It's time to tidy up the living room. Most of this mess was Mega Blocks. My youngest is really, really into Mega Blocks right now. He loves building things, especially with my husband, but we have like 
so many at this point. We've been gifted a couple packs of Mega Bloks. So this bin right here, it's huge and it's just like filled to the brim with Mega Bloks. So anyway, they make a big mess and I had to pick all of those up. Sutton will definitely help me pick up the blocks. Sometimes he gets a little silly and he starts just throwing them, but he's he's learning slowly but surely, but I just typically don't film with my kids, so I chose to wait and clean this up when he was napping and I just picked it up myself. I'm not a huge decorator and one of the things I actually said I'm not going to buy this year in 2024 is home decor. So the only thing that I've allowed myself to get so far this year is a couple garlands for my fireplace because I do want to keep the holiday fun for my kids. So anyway, I'm obsessed with this egg garland. I think it was like $10 at Target and it was worth the $10 and it looks so cute for Easter coming up. But now we're going to take out the trash, full as usual, and then I actually have a couple of packages I wanted to unbox with you guys. So today was kind of a fun mail day because I got my Grove package and then I got some Amazon deliveries and all of this is for Easter for the kids. Um, I just, warning right here, we're talking about Easter. So if you have small children around, you might want to like pause the video and continue it later. So I'm giving you a second to do that if you need to do that. Um, but other than that stuff, we also got our nuggets because we are going to Disney in September. I'm so excited. So we ordered this luggage off of Amazon and they're like bright orange. And I felt like that was a good idea because while it's not like, you know, very aesthetic, um, we'll be able to see it really easily when it's coming around on the conveyor belt at the airport, whatever that's called, baggage claim. So that's what this is. I'm not going to open it. I'm just gonna bring it into our basement and we'll store it there until we need it. And then this package is my husband's. I don't know what this is, but I'll leave it here for him. And then this, so for Sutton's Easter theme for his basket this year, I wanted to do a sensory theme. So I got him this sensory plate right here and it is way bigger than I expected. I'm hoping that it's just big packaging and that it's really not this large. But I'm gonna take a look at it because I'm curious. Okay, yeah, it's just like a massive box that, uh, deceivingly massive box for what it is. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I found this brand on Amazon, Inspire My Play. I'd never seen them before the other day. This is kind of like an example of something you can do with it on the back. But yeah, you can put anything you want in here. In the little dividers, you could have like a different sensory thing in each section. You could use them to like house little toys and then they'll stick into like the main bowl, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the cool thing is it comes with activity cards and these activity cards give me like all the ideas that I need. This was a little bit pricey. I normally would not splurge so much for Easter. Um, I just think this is a really, really good idea for him. So I got him the bowl or tray, whatever it is, the activity cards, and then I got him a set of tongs. These ones are green and blue. I know the packaging shows like pink, but they're green and blue. And then I also got him the nesting bowl set that goes with this, and I got him the scoopers. They're like really nice silicone material scoopers. And then for Carson, I got him a bunch of stuff from Target already, but I picked this up from Amazon and it's a rock pet that he can paint. And I love stuff like this because it gives him an activity to do and then we can display the rock pet outside as decor. And it's not just like another item that we have to keep in our house because you guys know we've really been trying to declutter this year. So it pains me a little bit every time a holiday or birthday comes around and we have to add more things to our collection. But I will say I'm very excited about this stuff right here. This is me being a strong, independent woman who don't need no man taking all my packages. Down the stairs, this luggage package was so heavy. I thought it was going to fall on top of me when I was going down the stairs, but I did it, so that's all that matters. 
but now I'm going to work on filing away some papers. As usual, I had a pile of papers on my countertop that I wanted to sort through. If you missed my last video, I made some milestone boxes for my kids' schoolwork that turned out so cute. So I'm using the milestone box to sort some of Carson's school stuff into, and then I'm using just our regular like filing system that we have to sort everything else. We got our taxes done, so that's why I had so much paper sitting on the counter. I've actually been doing much, much better at going through the paper and not letting it pile up lately. So this was a lot for me in comparison to how I've been doing. Making these milestone boxes and having this filing system has helped so much in keeping the paperwork clutter down. All of the floors in my house needed to be vacuumed and steam mopped. There was just crumbs everywhere, a ton of little like stains and sticky spots and stuff on the floor. So this really needed to be done as much as I did not want to do it. But whenever I use this vacuum, I always get questions about it. So this is the meal or I don't know how to pronounce it. It's M-I-E-L-E. -E. I feel like I've been corrected before, but I still don't know how to pronounce it. I cannot remember. Um, it's the meal or mealy or something vacuum. It's the TriFlex HX2, I believe. And I will have it linked down below in my description box if you're interested. It is a little bit pricey and that brand in general is a pricey brand, but they last forever. Like no joke, I've had my... Um, corded vacuum or canister vacuum with them for going on 11 years now and it still works just as well as the day that I got it. I've never had it professionally serviced or anything like cleaned even though they do offer that and it still works amazing. I've just replaced the filter a couple times. It's great. So anyway, I would highly, highly recommend that brand if you're looking into a new vacuum or you're on the market for one, because while you're paying a lot up front, it is going to last you a very long time. But anyway, aside from the vacuum, now I'm going to use my steam mop. This is like a shark. I think it's shark. I don't know, whatever. I'll link this one down below as well. And I'm using my method squirt and mop, so I'm just squirting that on the floor before I go over it with the steam mop, and I find that that really helps. This steam mop already works great at picking up everything, but that just makes it that much easier, and it also makes your floors smell really good. I feel like I saw that Shark makes a steam mop that's also a vacuum, like kind of a wet dry vac type of thing, and I'm tempted to try it because the price was a lot lower than some of the other ones. So not that I need one, it's more so I like to try these things so I can recommend them to you guys. So I might pick that up, The I think it's like a Shark Hydro Vac, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, I might try it and let you guys know what I think. So if you think I should try it or if you've tried it, let me know in the comments and I will do that. I have had my Tinco wet dry vac. I want to say for like a year now and I do really like it. I use it all the time, but I'm very honest with you guys about how much it smells and I really, really try to stay on top of cleaning it and no matter what I do, it always just smells kind of musty. So it's really not my favorite cleaning tool. I do like it. Like I said, I use it still all the time, but anytime I do use it, it makes my house kind of smell musty and I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm hoping that the Shark brand, since I really, really like that brand already, that their wet dry vac does not have quite that same issue that the Tinco has. Sometimes I kind of find myself dreading using my Tinco because I know that once it's done, the self-cleaning cycle isn't really going to clean it and I'm going to have to like deep clean the machine if I don't want it to absolutely stink. It is 2.12 now. I have been going all day. I did not get my list done, um, obviously 
just you know you guys know if you've been watching the video but i am going to cut the video off for today and i'm going to pick it up again tomorrow because i do need to go pick up carson from school sutton's going to be waking up soon so i need to get us ready to go um hopefully the lighting in my house is better tomorrow when we continue filming despite having a cleaning decluttering and organizing channel here on youtube i also cannot get everything done in one day so i feel good about what i have gotten done today i obviously am going to have to take my duvet cover out and make my bed tonight i'm not going to film it but we will do probably a deep clean of my bedroom tomorrow because it really needs it and i also want to get all of the laundry folded that didn't happen today and it's fine like goes on. moving on to the next day we're going to clean my bedroom and this didn't end up being as deep of a clean as i wanted it to be because unfortunately Sutton ended up also coming down with an ear infection so he was super cranky and he took a really short nap so I just did the best that I could with the time that I was given but yeah we like I said we've been going through it lately it's like we had the stomach bug go through our house and then we got over that or I thought we did and then I actually ended up coming down with it two weeks after my family did I thought I had already had it because I had one day where I didn't feel good and it turns out that that was definitely not it and it hit me two weeks later and it was horrible. I was very, very sick for like 36 hours in the worst of it. I actually ended up having to go to the ER for fluids and nausea meds because it was that bad. So yeah, that hit our family. That was horrible. And then after that, we've had colds and stuff and then Sutton got croup and now he's got an ear infection and it's just like, man, it is a rough time of year and doing my best to just get us through it but i truly cannot wait for spring and summer because we see a lot less germs in those times of year My camera was playing some serious games with me while I was filming this portion of the video. My camera that I use for all my videos actually broke and so I've had to use a different camera for the last few weeks and it's a lot more complicated. I can't just like set it and forget it. I have to keep checking on the lighting. So you'll notice here that it gets really bright and then it gets darker and then it gets really bright again and I apologize. It's just like a learning curve at the moment and I may end up purchasing my old camera again which I really don't want to do because that would be the third time I've purchased the same camera. But I've been so sad ever since it broke because it's just the best one to use if you are doing YouTube. Sometimes I fold laundry at my island as long as my island is clear of other things and it's clean. Sometimes it's not, so it's not available to me. Sometimes I'll fold at my dining room table. Sometimes I fold on the floor. Sometimes I fold on the bed. Just kind of depends what's easiest in the moment. But I would love to know where do you guys prefer to fold laundry? I feel like I always get comments like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're folding clean laundry on the floor or whatever, <laughs> which... I don't know. It doesn't bother me. I don't feel like our floors are all that dirty. We typically don't wear shoes around the house. I keep up with cleaning them and vacuuming them, so I don't honestly really think about it, but I'd love to know if you guys are against folding your laundry on the floor or where you prefer to fold it. I prefer to fold it at my island if it's available just because I have really bad back pain if I do it anywhere else. The island, like the height of the island, definitely helps to keep some of the pain away in my back when I'm trying to get this done. Now 
we are just about done for the day so I'm of course going to put away all my laundry so I can finish up that job and then in a couple minutes we will move on to cleaning the floors. Now that we're done with laundry, I just picked up the floor really quick so I could get to vacuuming. And then after we vacuum, we are going to call this video done. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you tons of motivation to get some things done around your home today. Don't forget to check out BetterHelp. I'll have all that information in my description box down below. You can save 10% off your first month, so be sure you take advantage of that offer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe if you're new to my channel and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I think I've said everything at this point, so I'm going to go now and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you again next week for another video.